Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens here with iGo Sales and Marketing. Uh, I have another tutorial for you today on uh, Sweet CRM and how to integrate it with WordPress um, and get your contact form to transfer over through and create a lead in Sweet CRM. So it's fairly uh, easy, it should be a quick video here. Um, but a lot of people give me questions and how do you do it? Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So uh, here we go. All right. So the first thing that you have to do here is make sure that you are in campaigns. So uh, depending on how you have your menu, menu set up, uh, you just want to go to your campaigns. Uh, and you need at least, the trick here is you need at least one campaign set up. If you don't have one campaign, you're going to have to create one as part of the process. So um, if you don't have a campaign, just create one. It's really easy. Add new uh, and go through the fields and just make sure you have one saved. So once you've done that, you'll see on the side here that you have create a person form. And it's really easy. Just uh, click on create a person form. And the next thing you're going to get is the fields. Now you've got a couple choices here. Uh, you can make it a two column form or a one column form. If you are uh, putting it in a like sidebar or something, you might want to consider just being it a one column form. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to do a two column form. So let's, let's do first name. It's all drag and drop. First name, last name. Uh, you're probably going to want the person's uh, phone number. Um, you're probably going to want the person's email address. Let's see anything else here. Maybe it, it, you're going to give them space to ask a question and the best place to put that, or maybe you want their company name as well. Let's stick that in there. Uh, and then, uh, if you want to ask a question, the best place to put that in is the description for the lead. So we'll put that maybe down here. So once you have all the fields that you want, and as long as the field exists in Sweet CRM, uh, including uh, your custom fields or anything like that, uh, you can add them to the form here. So once you've done that, you click on, oh, I should probably, before we go on, let you know, um, you can do either leads, contacts, or targets this way. So make sure you're choosing what you want it to be imported as. Uh, generally, for the most part, you're going to, if you import a lead from the web, it's going to be a lead. So that's what you want to make sure you're recording. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. And then you have your form header. Uh, so this would be like the title of the form. And you'll see this when we're done, where it's what it's going to look like. But like, let's say this is, uh, we're going to say questions. So this is the title of the lead form. Or it could be something like, uh, you know, register now for 10% off, something like that. Whatever your, your call to action is going to be. And then, uh, you know, a little description here, uh, sign up now and get added to our special discount list or something like that, whatever you want to call it. Um, then the button, you have sub the submit button and it can be anything you want. Uh, so let's, I'm going to change this to sign up now and the button can be anything you want it to be. Uh, the next thing that you are going to want to look at is the redirect. So what happens is, uh, once the form is filled, you can send them to a page on your website. That's like a thank you page or something like that. If you have one, if not, it's a good idea to set up a WordPress page. That's just like, uh, where the URL is, um, you know, your site.com slash thank dash you, um, and then send all the, what it just make a page that says, thank you for filling out the form. Uh, you know, we'll get back to you shortly, that kind of thing. The reason for that is if you're tracking, um, you can track form fills with Google analytics or, uh, Google AdWords. Um, based on the number of people that arrived at the thank you page. So that's a good idea. I'm not going to do that right now, but that, that's also a good idea. So now here's where you have to select your campaign. It's going to force you to select one of your campaigns. I'm just going to select one here. I might have to move myself out of the way. Um, oh, this is fun.
uh, there we go. I can select one now. <laughs> All right, so I uh, selected that. Uh, hopefully you're still seeing me here. I don't know if it removed, uh, it seems to remove my picture. So um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is um, generate the form. Oh, sorry, uh, assign to. Uh, select the person you wanna assign the new leads to uh, and then put that in there. Um, not having much luck with this picture here. It looks like it's, it's uh, stuck in the pop-up. Anyway, once you select your uh, assigned to, I'm gonna assign it to me in this case, uh, you're good to go. So uh, just generate the form. And once you generate the form, oh, it looks like I'm back here. I'll move myself out of the way. Okay. So uh, once you generate the form, you get um, sort of the what it's gonna look like on the front end version. And you get a full text editor here. So you can change this kind of stuff. So maybe you don't want office phone to be here and you just want to change that to phone. You can just edit that and account name. You might want to, you know, for the front end, you might want to change that to company name, something like that. And description, obviously you don't want to leave a description, but you might want to just change that to something like question. Um, and then uh, you're good to go. The next thing you might want to do is, you know, Let's say I don't like this font here. I want it a little bit bigger. Uh, you can change that as well. Uh, you know, maybe I want it bold. All those kind of things you can do. Um, don't know if you can mess with the button. No, you can't. But uh, you can, you know, make some changes here. And if you really want to get fancy, if you know HTML, you can go into the uh, HTML here and um, you can change you know, the styling and stuff, you'll find all the styling up here uh, and you can change it if you know what you're doing. Uh, if not, that's okay. It, it, it pretty much figures it out here and uh, changes, uh, you can change it right in the editor. So once you've got it looking the way you want it to look, uh, just click save web form, okay? Now, it, it, it doesn't actually save the web form. <laughs> so uh, if you do not copy this right now, somewhere you'll never get it again uh, just so you know that once once you exit this screen it's like gone forever so uh, it would be nice if sweet serum save this somewhere and you can go back and edit the form and just change you know a little bit or something but you can't so uh, you're pretty much done at this point uh, the next thing you want to do is go over to wordpress okay so it gives us a couple instructions here um, in in the uh, and go back it gives us a couple of instructions in um, sweet CRM here that's basically you need this uh, code here in the head so what we want to do here in WordPress is we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna install one here okay and I, the plugin we're, we're looking for here, I'm gonna add new. The plugin we're looking for is called add to head. Or sorry, I think it's called per page add to head. We'll find it here in a second here. So there it is, per page add to head. We're just gonna install that. We're gonna activate it. And then I have like a test page set up here. We're gonna, I'm just gonna go. Okay, so you'll see that adds this field here that says add to head. So what I'm gonna do here is go back to Sweet CRM and I'm gonna copy this little piece of code that they say must be in the head. So copy that and I'm gonna put that in the head. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this code here that they have. Make sure you select it all and you don't miss anything at the beginning or at the end. I'm just going to copy that, go back to my WordPress page, and you probably have it on like a visual editor, but what we're going to want to do here is flip over to text uh, so that it doesn't put any strange formatting in. And we're just going to paste that in there, just like that. Okay, and then this doesn't look much like a form yet, but once you switch back to visual, 
you'll see it kind of looks like a form, maybe a little bit messed up, but that's okay. That's just the back end. So I'm going to update this right now. And then let's go see what it looks like on the front end. And I'm going to just open this in a new tab. I'm going to click over and there we go. There's our form. So if you want to see that this works, I'm going to go Paul Stevens and just put in whoop, phone number and test at test oop, testing com, and I go sales and marketing and um, if you know how to edit the HTML, you can also like make this field so it's bigger, um, but the front end person can drag and drop it however they like. So I have a question, okay? And then there's our button. We're gonna just sign up. And you see default, it just, you know, changes thank you for submitting your interest. That's kind of why it's important that you create a, a, your own thank you page and forward it to. But anyway, let's go back to Sweet CRM and see if we got the lead. Hopefully it all worked out. Okay, so now when I leave this page, uh, this is gonna be gone. So I'll just leave this here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to leads. And let's see, there we go, there's our lead. So you'll see that it put in, um, in the description part, the question that I put, because that's the field I used. Um, and it got my name, it got my, the phone number I added in, the company and everything. Uh, so that works really, really well. The other thing it's gonna do is um, it's gonna email the person who got assigned lead. Um, it's gonna email them uh, just a notification that there was a new lead assigned to them. Um, that's uh, kind of important because you wanna know you got a new lead and uh, you know that works out great. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, you got your form, I'll just go back here. Uh, it fills in, works really well. It integrates with WordPress you know, pretty much seamlessly. Uh, you can put this in the sidebar if you want, anywhere that has a text field uh, that you'd like to put it. So uh, that's it, hope you liked the video. Um, if anybody needs help with uh, WordPress at all, um, I do this for a living. I help people with WordPress, uh, Sweet CRM. I build websites. I help people plan their sales processes with Sweet CRM. So uh, if you need uh, help with any of that stuff, give me a call. Um, I'm going to put a link down below. I'm happy to talk to you. I also often have a um, uh, chat box on my website if you need help. Um, but again, you know, I, I, I do charge for this stuff. So, <laughs> you know, quick questions, no problem. Uh, but if you want help in designing uh, sweet CRM or anything else, uh, you know, I'm more than happy to work for you. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.